Luke Stake. I'm Vice President of the Water Homes of Junior Attic Club here at Junior Attic College. I'm here today to tell you about the basics of survival and what to do if you find yourself in a survival situation. There are four main key points in a survival situation. They go shelter, water, fire, food. Most people get the four survival basics backwards. They get the food before they get their shelter. You can last three weeks in the wilderness without food, but in extreme conditions, you can't even last three hours without a good shelter. Now shelters depends upon the environment in which you're staying in. In a warmer environment, you can practically just lay on the ground, but in a colder environment, that will kill you. Now the main thing with when you're making a shelter is getting up off the ground. I'd say three or four inches is about the best. Go layer or something about three four inches off the ground. The reason so is because the ground sucks the heat right out of your body. Because of rocks and soil, it just pulls right in. And don't focus all your attention getting up off the ground and say, I'm going to get three feet off the ground. And you don't have time to cover yourself up. Because when you're making it a shelter, you imagine yourself in your mind making a sleeping bag. Like a debris sleeping bag covering you. It's trapping a layer of air in between you and your material you're using. And that's like when you're sleeping in bed, you get the warmth of air keeping you in there. And it's your own body making heat to keep you warm. You can last about three days on average without water. But it doesn't mean you try to drink the first water you find, you gotta make sure it's safe. Because drinking out of a random pond could potentially kill you. Now the best source of water you can ever have is what you bring with you. The chances are, in a survival situation, you didn't just randomly carry three gallons of water with you. So you gotta go find it yourself. So exactly, how do you find your water? Well, it depends where you're at. A lot of times, low places will have water. Sometimes, if you're near the ocean, a low place will have your salt water. So you gotta know your area, what you're looking for. Sometimes you can find water in plants. How you combine some water in your mind. You gotta make sure your water's safe. Most water safe is fast moving water from streams and springs. Bigger rivers, we're we'll having contaminants now. Smaller streams, the smaller you go, the better it is. But a lot of times, water's contaminated no matter where you're at. So it's best to cook it over a fire and make sure it's safe. Boom! Fire. Now the best conventional way for fire is a ladder or matches. If you don't have that, well, there are other ways of making fire, but you're pretty much going to have to read a book for it. I don't have the time to show you. Now food, food's a toughie. First, you got to know what you're looking for when you get food. Second, a lot of times people spend more energy trying to get food than they even do when they eat their food. Food is not a priority in a short-term survival situation as most survival situations are. 